Let's talk a little bit about the Christie statement, among other things. You heard it. This completely inappropriate and unsanctioned conduct was made without my knowledge. Do you believe him? I, uh, you know, as, as this story continues and as things begin to unravel with emails, the actions of counterparts, resignations, engagement of defense counsel, that position becomes more and more difficult to understand, more and more difficult to comprehend, and quite frankly, more and more difficult to believe. I'm actually rooting that the highest elected official in the state of New Jersey isn't involved in this. But I will tell you, I'm beginning to question my judgment. Why? Well, you know, when we started off with, this, with, a, with chaos here in Fort Lee on that Monday in September, and we got no response, and right from the beginning, people were saying it was about me and about failure to endorse, I, I never thought that, you know, I always dismissed it as not being important enough. I mean, who would possibly reduce themselves to closing lanes to the busiest bridge in the world, putting my town in harm's way. By the way, a town that services 40 or 50 other towns every morning. But as the story goes, and as folks resign, and as councils engaged, and as subpoenas are issued, and as statements are provided, and now with this, these recent emails, it, it certainly doesn't lend credibility to the statement that he knew nothing about it. I'm not suggesting that he did. It does, however, bring into question whether he did. Have you heard from the governor as he called to apologize, for example? No, no. Remain mindful I'm not on his radar, so I'm certainly not in his Rolodex either. But you would, you would expect him. Uh, he's obviously, according to this statement, he's angry. He should probably call you and say, you know what? I know your citizens in your community and a lot of other nearby communities were affected by this. Uh, wouldn't you expect him to start making some phone calls to at least apologize, even if he had nothing to do with it, but his senior aides did? Wolf, don't call me. Do me a favor, don't call me. But call the families who were waiting three, four times longer for emergency service agencies when their loved ones were having heart palpitations or when their loved ones had extreme um, chest pains and were waiting for our ambulance corps to arrive. Do me a favor, call and apologize to thousands of families whose kids were late for the first day of school and the three or four days that ensued thereafter. Call our police department and call our, our administrators in the school system that had to deal with this. Call the folks that had to deal with traffic Armageddon here that week. Don't call me. It, it's not, you don't have to call me. I, I give you a pass. Don't call me. But call those families, call those kids, and call everybody else because Fort Lee didn't deserve it. What we should, didn't deserve it. What should be this done to those who were responsible when all the dust clears when we know everything about this? Well, for those that are responsible, are responsible for this most heinous act, they can no longer be in positions of power in government. Wolf, if you know me for 30 seconds, you know I don't have an ounce of venom in me. As a matter of fact, I've stayed in the background of this story. I didn't decide to join the fray of this until today when these emails surfaced. I'm not uh, a retribution kind of a guy, but the folks that are responsible for this can no longer be in positions that they can actually cause this type of damage to other unsuspecting communi communities. It's, it's not acceptable. But I have a prediction. You'll have a resignation or two, and you'll hear, of course, that this was part of their career path and they were resigning anyway. It, it's, not, it's not even remotely acceptable to do what you did. It is the lowest most venomous form of political retaliation. And this in a time when New Jersey needs this, like we need a hole in the head, we've now ensured that we're going to remain the butt of every political joke for the next 20 years on political misconduct. It's, it's, it's such a sad, sad state of events. And uh, I tell you, and I, and I only joined now after reading the emails. I never viewed it to be a benefit for Fort Lee to enter this political fray. I've been saying no to interviews all along. I've been remaining in the background. And I did because the fact finders were conducting their investigations. There was no benefit for my community because every decision that I make is based on whether or not it's in Fort Lee's benefit. Bottom line, bottom line. But now not to speak is an abdication of my responsibility to the folks that put me in office. I'm actually ashamed. You're ashamed for, for your entire, what? Ashamed about what? Uh, I'm ashamed, I'm ashamed to be in the position of an elected official in the state of New Jersey and now to be painted with, with broad strokes and, and have to deal with business as usual here in the state of New Jersey. It's not fair. It's not fair to the folks that follow the rules. It's not fair to the folks that are in these positions for the right reasons. 
You know, there was one email. I want to put it up on the screen. This is from the campaign, Christie's campaign manager, obtained by the record September 18th, Bill Stepien. Here's the quote. Uh, the mayor, referring to you, of Fort Lee, is an idiot. Uh, so take us in to this feud that was going. Did they really expect you, a Democrat, to endorse the Republican candidate's re-election, Chris Christie? I guess. You know, I've said this many times. I don't recall a specific request to endorse, but, you know, the events that led up to all of this, I guess you can interpret to be um, somehow attracting me to endorse. I didn't want to endorse for several reasons, not the least of which is I'm a Democrat. I, I was supportive of, of Ms. Bono. Uh, I wasn't prepared to do that, but uh, I'm grateful to my instincts because they certainly have proven me to be correct because nobody should have to do any, anything like that or provide any support under threat of retribution. As far as Mr. Druniak, I don't know the guy, um, nor do I want to know the guy. Uh, he is what he is, and uh, I just worry about Fort Lee, not, not people like that. They Tell don't interest me. They don't concern me except when they act recklessly and they put my, my family, put my, my residents and citizens in harm's way. You know, I, I got to tell you, I've been covering Shame politics. On. Shame on you. I've been covering politics for a long time. But if all of these allegations are true, this kind of political vendetta to take it out on your community, nearby communities, snarl traffic going across the George Washington Bridge into New York. I, I, I don't remember a time when something specific like that has happened. But from your perspective, Mayor, for viewers who are watching all over the country right now, tell us why you believe this is an important issue that has to be that has to be reported on and assessed. Let me tell you, I've always said from that Monday when traffic, when the traffic was stopped and now we know it to have been stopped intentionally, a little bit I remained in the background because I was always scared about what would happen to Fort Lee when you stop reporting on this, Wolf, and all the other media channels stop reporting on it three months, six months, a year from now. Who's to say what they're going to do to my borough, to my residents, to my citizens, and to me? We're concerned about that. Who's to say that in six months they're not going to find some guy that's going to actually do a study and suggest that we shouldn't have lanes or we should only get one lane? They can wreak havoc on our community. They can wreak havoc on the safety and well-being of our residents. That's my concern. When the story doesn't garner any more attention, we're nervous about further retribution now knowing what we know. And I said that from day one. That's my biggest, biggest concern. In Fort Lee, we're in the middle of a billion-dollar redevelopment. We're in the middle of a renaissance. We've been called one of the more progressive communities in the state of New Jersey. We're proud of that. We're the gateway to the entire state. We're the host community to the busiest bridge in the world. And now to be subjected to potentially more retribution in the future, that, as Fort Lee's highest elected official, you may rest assured, that has been, will be, and will remain my biggest concern. What happens tomorrow when we're not talking about this anymore?